Today, I want to address in-laws, family members causing issues in their brother or sister or son or daughter's marriages. You know, in John chapter 8 verse 44, Jesus was addressing the Pharisees and he said something. He said, you are of your father, the devil, because their character, their personality traits was reflecting something that was not of God. Where am I going with this? What is God's character? Peace, love, joy, lifting, increase. If your presence in a person's marriage is not bringing those things, then you are borrowing traits of the devil. It's the devil pres presence that causes trouble, that causes issues, that causes chaos. Is that what you want to be in the life of your son, in the life of your brother, in the life of your sister, in the life of your daughter? Please don't be that person. God expects more than that of you. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11, he tells us, he said, make it your aim to live a quiet life, minding your business and working with your own hands for a living. That is the standard you are to be as a believer. And remember, God said it. He said, whatever God has joined together, let no one put asunder. When you now go and say, my brother's wife is a witch, she is his witch, not your own. Leave them alone. Ah, my sister's husband is a bad man. She is his bad, yeah, sorry, he is his bad, he is a... Uh, I'm mixing myself up. He is a bad man, not your own. And if truly there are things in their lives that are not good, take it before God on their behalf. If they don't bring an issue to you, leave them alone. And if they do bring, take advice from the Holy Spirit to advise both of them, not just one. They are one. Treat them as one. Stop being the hindrance, the separation between them. Please reflect God in your character. How you treat your in-laws is, is proof of what is in your heart, not what is about them. Remember what I told you about that issue, what God told me about respect. He said if you disrespect someone, it's because you have disrespect in you, not because the person disrespected you. He said you, the person cannot bring out of you what you don't have inside you. So what do you have inside you that is showing to your in-laws? Please let it be of Christ. I'm begging you. Support them in prayers. Let it be that if you say you are coming to visit, they will feel joy. They will not start dreading. Say, oh my God, this person is coming again. Habba, why would you be like that? It's the devil we don't want around us. We want Christ around us. Be the Jesus in their lives. Because that's what Jesus expects us to be. So wherever we step, it should be as if like Jesus stepped there. That is what you should be. That is the character of your father. The Holy Spirit will help you in Jesus' name. And this applies both ways too. Husbands do not cause trouble between your wife and her family. Wives do not cause trouble between your husband and his family. Everybody should be of peace to each other so that we can all live in love and unity. There are enough things we are contending with in this world for us not to start contending against each other again when we are already family. The Holy Spirit will help every one of us in Jesus' name.